You're listening to The Real Well Show with Kathy Fetke, the real estate investor's resource. Wondering how you can write off your vacations? We've got a great show for you today. Welcome to The Real Well Show. I'm Kathy Fetke, and joining me today is my husband, Rich Fetke. Hello. <laughs> And uh, we've got a great interview today with Mark Kohler and Patty Campbell, who um, actually met through Real Wealth, and that's super cool. You'll hear their story in this interview. But they're also going to share uh, some very, very cool ways to include your family in your investments and also write off vacations. Yeah, get your family on your board, be able to write things off. But also, I think what was really stood out for me was really how you can educate and bring your family up uh, through financial intelligence to really change their financial intelligence and set them up for a better future. Yeah. So uh, let's get to it. Mark and Patty, welcome to The Real Well Show. Thanks for having us. So excited to be Yeah. Thank you. Good, good to so see fun. you guys. It's been a little while. It's great to see you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, I think the last time we were with you guys was at your uh, retreat in Malibu and I left Rich in the 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 the, the tub what are, oh my gosh the the plunge pool, the you plunge pool. The tub? <laughs> yeah even, not, not the, not the tub it was the plunge pool i mean i like the cold, plunge. Got, cold, yeah, plunge. The cold plunge i was like Rich, what are you doing and no uh, the he's got for those that don't know it's the coolest healthy place in the world it just felt so neat to be in your place and we were that retreat was wonderful and yeah the cold plunge i was like the- it's definitely the do- coolest thing. Yeah, it's yeah. very cool. <laughs> Too cool. Yeah, yeah, now we got a sauna set up. So next time you come, we'll uh, go do the hot cold therapy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, but love it. Uh, Warm up afterwards. Yeah, but I think we should go back a little bit because we're talking about that couples retreat and how you guys met. And that's how we all met or how I met you for the first time. Uh, I know, Kathy, you and had a connection with Mark already from previous conferences and all that and working together. So... Tell us your story about how you guys met. Well, it's exciting. I'm going to let Patty start, and then I'll correct her as we go here. So, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've always had a passion for real estate, and I've been an investor for years. I'd been a member of the Real Wealth Network, and I was in the midst of a divorce and had um, real estate holdings and also co-owned a sawmill with um, my ex-husband, and I was told I needed a tax attorney. And I didn't know where to find one. And one day when I was on your site, I saw KKOS tax attorney as a preferred um, affiliate. And so I made an appointment. And the morning of my consult, the attorney I was supposed to meet with had just been fired. And by me. (laughs) When you saw who was coming in. (laughs) Yeah. So Mark jumped on the call and said, it's your lucky day. I'm, uh, I'm here for half price. Okay. Now that, see, now there's, we have to start correcting things. I don't think I would ever say that. That would be so cocky and inappropriate, but. I feel like maybe you might've said that. (laughs) You said it. You for sure said it. So that's how it started. Sometimes you're inappropriate, Mark. (laughs) Yeah. I'm never inappropriate. And so, so yeah, it was just a phone call and I was, my plan was, so this attorney was terrible and I didn't. And you have those ones. I think it was maybe one of the last attorneys we fired in the last three years. We really do well. But anyway, he struggled. So I let him go. And I didn't want any of the clients that day to have to reschedule. So I, anyway, so I was going to help him transition to another associate. And then when I got on with Patty, she was like, we got this and the sawmill and I've got this real estate. And I was like, oh, my gosh, we got to. And I think I said, let's meet next week. and Let's get on Zoom and really unpack this. Yeah. Yeah. At first I could tell you were in a hurry and I think I was um, on the verge of tears actually, because I could tell (laughs) he was in a hurry. Um, So once he could sense that I was a little vulnerable and needy, he said, okay, let's meet, let's meet next week and we'll, we'll dive in further. And, and that just started our professional. The good part of the story. You know, we got to really fill the blanks here. So anyway, the next week, um, we, we get on zoom now. Um, I was also in, in the process of starting this divorce that I was in the mix of, and I was seeing therapists and all this and Patty's a life coach that'll come back into play. So, um, I, um, I get on the zoom call and, and right then I jump on and she says, Oh my word, you are so handsome. And I was like, that is not what happened. <laughs> I think I, that, that's what he heard. I this a little bit differently. Yeah. No. So tell the truth. 
Okay. So I, in a moment of weakness, I was, I, I jumped on the zoom call and I was like, oh my gosh, you are so pretty. I, and I, I don't know. I was like, oh my gosh, should I just say that out loud? And of mm-hmm. course, everybody watching this on the recording, you can say, yeah, Mark, you would say that. And I was like, and I was like fixing my hair and I'm like, anyway, I was, I know I was, and I was like, I'm, it was cool. I was like, who's this guy? Yeah, I know. In a beanie. And- <laughs> yeah. Cause I think that's what I do. I was in a beanie working from home and she was all dressed up and I'm like, and so I was embarrassed, but anyway, we jumped into it and it was for, charming. Well, and so for a whole, uh, well, for a whole year on the legal side, uh, we had this professional relationship. I was helping her through so many real estate and business transactions to divorce. But then about six months into that, we're almost done. This is good. About six months in you, you were, you were not liking your bill. I think, is that the story? You're Something like-, like that. I was hearing, I was hearing, um, some therapist horror stories and I thought, Hmm, here's a chance for a trade out. So I offered him some life coaching services. Yeah. So she's like, I'll trade you, you know, dollar for dollar. And I was like, and I was, I was a little skeptical of life coaching at the time. He said it was woohoo. Okay. Did I, I may have said that too. So anyway, (laughs) so she said, let's trade out. So anyway, um, it was amazing. I, I'd been through marriage counselors and therapists, you know, as we all have during life when it's tough. And but the life coaching perspective she brought within, she said in the first session, if I don't change, um, if I don't affect you or change your life in that first session, we'll, we'll call it quits. And I was like, all right. And at that, in that okay. hour, I was like, oh my gosh, because it was so forward thinking. It was so future focused. And so then I hired her as a life coach. And so for that whole year, all we knew each other was from like here to here. <laughs> and we were talking, working together. Her divorce was coming to an end. Mine was really in the throes. And I and we finally had a, our first date at a conference. And then I got to see the whole patty. And I was like, damn, all right. So, and I was smitten and it was, it was really. I was pretty amazing. smitten as well. So we, um, that's the Real Wealth Love Story. It is a dating site, if many of you didn't know. And you can feel free to edit that down. <laughs> <laughs> that's no, it's so fun. You, you. Came to Real Wealth to get a, a tax attorney, and you left with a sweetheart. Yes, I did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you both gained. I yeah. love that. It was Good a story. So thank you to both of you. Yeah, and thanks for letting me be as an affiliate on your side. This was the best payoff of oh, uh, any client great. referral. So it's a great win, win-win for sure. Yeah, yeah. we only ha- have the best on our site. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> you're gosh, in good thank company. You. And how so, long after that, um, once you started dating and all that, uh, was the couples retreat? That you can't oh. do. Year, two years, probably mm-hmm. two years mm-hmm. later. Okay. We, because we, um, I teach on the tax and legal, and Patty's teaching life coaching. And it was an honor that we also need relationship work. And, and, and Rich and Kathy, you both invited us to that couples retreat. And it was just so good to be able to talk about all the topics we love. It was so neat. Yeah. It's yeah. Wonderful. That, you can never work on your marriage too much, right? It's a partnership. And there's, so, you know, communication things about getting aligned on your combined vision, your shared vision. So much good stuff. Yeah. So I'm yeah. so glad you guys and, and you contributed a lot too. Well, so it was and, cool. And I'll just say this now too for all of you that are uh, followers of Real Wealth. Um, gosh, I got just Rich and Kathy, the real deal. Mm-hmm. So, Thanks, so good. Man. Great role Appreciate models. That. That's, that's yeah. our intention. Awesome. So I, I think a real powerful focus here would be like now you guys, Kathy and I speak sometimes on investing with your spouse or your, your significant other. And so I know that you guys are doing a lot of that. You're doing it with your combined families. Uh, you're looking at building something and structuring something that really works financially. Kathy and I doing the same and working with you, Mark, and the senior attorneys at your firm in structuring our whole, all our entities and what you call the trifecta. So yeah. um why don't you share just a little bit about the trifecta? Because it's so powerful. Oh, thanks. Um, well, the the trifecta, a picture says a thousand words. And it's so hard to sometimes, all of us, um, you come out of law school or a, a tax program to visualize what you're trying to help clients with. Yeah. So about 10 years ago or so, I was teaching workshops. And all of a sudden, I just coined the phrase trifecta. And it's essentially your base, your foundation is your estate plan and your trust. And from a legal perspective and from a tax perspective, it's your tax return. All the money, the water flows downhill. And so we want, we, that's our foundation, our trust, our tax return. And we want to make sure we're really realizing that's where it all happens, ends at the, happens at the end of the day. But then on the left side is your operations. 
And that could be a W-2 day, day job for some. It could be a side hustle. It could be an active real estate business, fixing and flipping, or a realtor, a broker, dentist, doctor, whatever. That's the, our operations, which is taxed at the highest rate. We got to get creative there. But it's also the funnel that builds the money to bring back over to the right side. And over on the right side is where we're building wealth. And that's where the real wealth happens. And so we want to like buy our real estate, do notes. Uh, we may have brokerage accounts, we um, uh, precious metals, whatever floats your boat. But we really like our clients to have a well-balanced right side, which would involve always real estate. We're firm believers. Every wealthy client I have has income producing real estate. It's just how people get wealthy. And then we balance that with retirement accounts. And all of that is owned by your trust. All of your operations are owned by your trust. It all flows down to your 1040. And when you can see that and go, wow, I want to add a few more bubbles there. I want to increase some dollar signs there. It all goes here. You just feel organized and you, and you feel like relief. And it doesn't have to be a, an expensive proposition. You build the trifecta as your life grows. And so our attorneys implement that with clients. We, we teach it. We share it with our kids. And, and it, it really gives, it allows you to manifest the future. So I love that. It's a roadmap. It's a visual. Ooh. Yeah, and Patty, I was thinking about you because I mean, you've seen Mark speak countless times now. I bet you could probably go up on stage and teach the trifecta now. <laughs> yeah, I'm right? sure teach our kids it. It's yeah, really and, but but more importantly, you, you guys are living it, right? You're living it, oh. putting it into place. And that's what all we're the doing. time, more and more. And um, for me, going into the divorce was scary because I knew coming out, I was going to have assets that I needed to manage, and didn't know how that was all going to look. And when Mark taught the trifecta to me and showed me a visual roadmap of where I was, where I wanted to go, it was, it was such a relief for me. Um, gave me a lot of comfort and peace and helped me really see where I could build and how it all could work together. So that's, that's what we've been doing now together. And it's, it's, and what a parallel with life coaching too, because that's what she was doing. Here's your roadmap. Here's where you want to go. And it was so neat to blend the financial, the emotional, the spiritual all together. So. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I mean, even we've worked with some really expensive and high powered asset, asset protection attorneys, and we're now working with your team and we're just seeing all these things that were overlooked and it's sort of a crossover. It was messy. It was like you said, it it, when you when we put it in the visual and say here's the operational stuff, kind of like Kiyosaki says, right? Yeah. Here's here's the stuff that you're earning, your earned income, and over here is your passive. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and they need to be separate and in separate entities, and uh, and they flow to that bottom line, like you said, differently. So it's been it's been super helpful helpful for us to reorganize. Yeah. Big time. I, think, and, I yeah. think the big biggest takeaway for any listener here is. It doesn't have to be complex. And yeah. it's regrettable that lawyers and professionals, sometimes there, there's so many good ones out there, but sometimes these that are more profit driven or whatever, they keep it complex because they want you captive. You know, it's like you always have questions. So they, they keep you in a silo. And yeah, so, so you think, control. oh, I can only talk to this person about this particular thing and they don't know how it relates to the other thing. Yeah. And so that alone, being able to have a roadmap to take to each professional that I was working with made all the difference. Yeah. All of you can do it. It's yeah, not that hard. You know, there's a there's a marketing term talking about customers and acquiring customers. And it's uh, if you confuse, you lose. And I feel like it's the same thing with this. It's like when you're confused, you lose. And it's yeah. like to, to be really clear about it. And I think that's what it's really helped us do. I mean, we were, even though we're investors, even though we own rental properties, we were paying way too much in taxes. Uh -huh. And that was the big wake up call. When we wrote that check at the end of 2022, we're like, okay, we got to do something different. And yeah. it went on yeah. a, the war path to research who, who's going to help us. So uh, it's been awesome so far. Definitely oh, getting good. things put in place. Oh, good. Yeah. So what are some things you guys have been doing when you put, what have you put into action of your own plan? Well, it's, it's sometimes it's hard to do it yourself. <laughs> You're teaching it, but then there's the next step of doing it yourself. Like the contractor's house is never finished, but yes. what, <laughs> but like, what, what are some of the things that really are standouts for you that you've implemented? Well, personally? well, you know, it's so funny. You just said that too, um, Rich, about the tax bills you were paying and Patty and I have really complimented our, our each other with our personalities too. And this is a, a serious point is she is so detail oriented, 
so organized. I want to have, you know, this there, they're organized. She loves QuickBooks. And nice. man, to find a girl that knows QuickBooks and looks like this, I just hit the jackpot, right? It's a unicorn. It's a unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> she knows a 10 key. I'm like, um, so anyway, um, so early on, Patty's like, hey, I've got, we need to restructure. We need to do this. And she had a 1031 exchange. So you were selling a rental property in California. And so she's like, let's get together and figure out some options. And we've been uh, really wanting to explore the Airbnb scenario just because of the tax loophole there. There's a huge tax loophole. So why don't you tell the story? Well, I had the Roth that I wanted. I had the, well, the traditional IRA that I wanted to convert. Okay. You guys ready? Buckle up. You ready? I'm going to let him tell it. (laughs) Okay. It's serious. Okay. So here. This is knowing the left side and the right side of my trifecta. I would have never put this together without his sort of, um, 30,000 foot view of, of how it all worked together. So, yeah. And I've taught workshops on this to other accountants and attorneys and, and it's not that complex, but everybody listen. So let's put the chips on the table. We had a, an appreciated property. We wanted to sell and continue creating income, producing passive income rent from it. Uh, but we wanted to get out of this California market that wasn't working for us in the long run, but it was, but it was, Appreciate it. Okay. Number two, we had some stock that you had received in the divorce that was a traditional IRA. And we knew we wanted it in a Roth position. And if we converted it to Roth, we were going to have a big tax bill. And but we had this this 1031. And if we just sold the property, we'd pay tax. So we wanted to 1031 it into another piece of real estate. And then we had this Roth we wanted to convert. And the the solution was this Airbnb project. So we had two Airbnbs that we were going to 1031 this one property into, get these and uh, expand. You know, like 1031s are great because you have one rabbit, now you have two. And then four years from now, you're going to have four or six. You know, that's the beauty of real estate. It just compounds as you're smart and and pursue it. Mm -hmm. So we took the 1031 and did the Airbnbs. And you'd say, okay, it's done. I I sold this property, didn't pay tax. Now you have two Airbnbs. But the beauty of the Airbnb loophole is you don't have to be a real estate professional if you meet a couple tests that are very easy for the professional. You guys are real estate professionals. And so it's you guys are like, what? I'm already done. I'm there. But we're not. Life coach, tax attorney. So right. but with the Airbnb loophole this last year in 2023, we bought the two Airbnbs in late, early fall, early fall. And you have to put in 100 hours of material participation. And so we dove in to these two Airbnbs in South Scottsdale. By meeting that test, we were able to do a cost segregation on the two Airbnbs, take massive depreciation, and wipe out the Roth conversion. So we were able to con- con- convert hundreds of thousands of dollars to Roth, no tax, do a 1031 on a property we didn't want to pay tax on, and now have two Airbnbs that are on the cusp of producing great cash flow. But that, that that's the tax <laughs> play. It was right. super, it was super cool. But and I'm, I don't know why I'm so emotional today, but that wasn't the real win. Tell them. The, the family building aspect. It was. Because this, we, <laughs> boy, I was, now I set it up for you. Do you want, do you want me to set the stage? <laughs> you okay. were on a roll. I was just oh really gosh. I'm going to, I'll start a little bit. Then you, you finish out. I would say that. So one of the properties, it was like, Sweet. It was like totally turnkey, turnkey mm-hmm. as the real wealth trainers will teach you to look for. Um, and I don't know what the other property we was going on. We had beer goggles on or something. We like we would have never normally bought this property. That's why we knew it was divine, because we just got sucked into a what we thought was a great inspection. We walked through. We were in a hurry because it was 1031. But we we but a, a month later we're like, what the hell did we do? <laughs> we got the wrong property. Mm. And everybody's been there that's a real estate yeah, you're investor. Not, you're not alone there. No, no. But all of our kids have been attracted to our energy. And five out of our seven children have now moved to this to Phoenix area, and they got here and said, "We want to be around you." Oh, okay, now can you finish it? Now? I don't think they actually said that out loud, but we well, they, we they inferred that, it, and that's the yeah. ultimate. That's yeah. the ultimate reward, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. It is. It really is, and it's been a blessing. The Airbnb has been a way for everybody to work together and um, kind of get um, their teeth into a project together. So it's it's been relationship building. Yeah. Like at this moment, 
like literally right now, 4, 4.30 on an afternoon, my daughter's over there, I think, painting the ceiling on the patio. Nice. And her oldest son is working on the uh, some fence in the back, uh, cinder block fence. And this weekend, uh, at least three to four more kids are showing up. We're having a painting day to work on the outside of the house. And we could sub all that out, right? You guys know that. Is that the best use of our time per se? But it has become a relationship builder with our kids. It's, it's connection been, time, yeah. So because we, we drive home at night, what the hell did we do? And then we always remind ourselves, look at what it's done for our families. I it's love been that. Powerful. Yeah. Yeah, it's been amazing. A little bit about because one thing that came up at the couples retreat is you were explaining the family board meetings and how those work. Oh. So can go into that a little bit because I think it's so cool and it's something we're implementing. Oh, I love it. Well, you have a Park City project and Patty and I love Park City. You tell them about your last Park City board meeting. Well, you've had two in the last two years. Tell them, choose one. And yeah, my family board meetings are at Christmas in Park City. So. <laughs> So the ski trips are a write-off, but it's an opportunity to go through with my kids and let them know what I'm up to, make sure they're aware of all the different companies and um, let them see what, I mean, I, I, I open up the books and let them see what's happening and what the plans are going forward and, and uh, let them have not just buy-in, but they make great suggestions. They're invested in it. They know um, what we're, what I'm trying to do, what Mark and I are trying to do together. and um, it's educated them. It's inspired them to become on entrepreneurs. Um, they all have businesses of their own. And so they understand the power of the board and, um, they're learning all the, you know, the marketing and the, the bookkeeping and the legal and financial parts. And so the family board meeting has just been such a blessing for not just my kids and I, but for our blended families. So. And, and and they're literally members. I'm um, like in your documents. It's, mm -hmm. they're, they're shown as members of the board, right? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, so the legal aspect here, and any of you can do this on your own. Of course, mm -hmm. we have a, a department at the law firm that's at Main Street Business Services where we do your minutes, your new BOI reports with FinCEN, and and we'll prepare a list of for for you to go talk to your family or friends or parents or whoever's on your board. But yeah. you can do it yourself. You just take your LLC and say, I'm going to have a board of advisors. Or you have your little corporation. I'm going to have a board of directors. You get out a piece of paper. You get everybody. And they, some could be on Zoom. Some could be in person. The tax write-off strategy is to all get it there in person and mm -hmm. writing off the dining and travel to get there. And um, you call a meeting to order and say, okay, what did we accomplish this year? Where are we going next year? What could we do better? Here's the numbers. Here's the books. And um, you may have – I like to put kids on the board if they're 16 and older. And once you have an, a 16-year-old, they really know everything. And so <laughs> they'll tell you that, too. <laughs> you know, they'll run the company because you're an idiot. Yeah. Uh, and then, <laughs> but then when they turn 22, they're like, oh, you know, and you're like, oh my gosh, they came around. So anyway, we have kids from 20 to 29 and, um, but you formally have the meeting, you write it, everybody signs it. And now that's your minutes for that year. And you say, you're going to be all in favor. You know, you're all on the board at the end and you put it in your corporate book. You don't have to file it with the state. You don't file it with the IRS. But if you ever get audited, you got the documentation of a meeting that was held. You could write off that your cost of the Airbnb, again, the hotels, the Ubers, the travel reasonably for maybe a day or two as you have this meeting. Mm -hmm. And it gives you even better asset protection because you're showing the world, we respect this company. We have separate checking. We have a separate mm. book. That one sheet of paper at LegalZoom people, that's not in any. You know, so you got to do all these pieces and parts. And But the beauty is you're bringing your family together. And that's how you pay them. Yes. And then I'm justifying write-offs by paying the kids. Everybody gets their 1099 in their Christmas stocking. They love it. They play with it for months. <laughs> so it's just win, win, win. <laughs> I love that. Nice. So all independent contractors, 1099. Yes. Yeah. Um, or you could have them be W-2 if you wanted to, or th th that wouldn't make sense. No, it's funny. We've got two kids that are W-2 right now. The rest are 1099 because once they act like a real employee, um, if they're in the office every day working alongside the other employees, you're, you're legally required. Okay, they're going to get a W-2, Sudafuda, FICA, workers' comp, all that. Right. Mm -hmm. But everybody else, all the other kids are on 1099s. Now, they may call up and go, hey, I need a – to help with my car or I need tuition or I need that. Okay. I'm not giving you the money. The corporation is going to pay you because you're on the board. Yeah. And um, we've got kids that are helping with from social media to construction to video. My, my son is coming in tomorrow to help with some video. Uh, and so, but the kids, they really do love it. I think 
you know, being, they do. Yeah. And they all have businesses of their own. So they understand the power of having the, the meeting where we can all collaborate and share ideas and they're, they don't feel alone. Like they're just a solopreneur with no support and what better support than, than your family. So. And, the take, and the takeaway, quit paying taxes and giving your kids money. Mm-hmm. You're in a high bracket. Yeah, pay right. them, take a yeah. write off and let them pay their own taxes. Maybe even help them pay their taxes. You're going to cut your tax bill in half yeah. and you're involving them. Yeah, it's so true. And there's like, I was just thinking if my parents did that when I was growing up, you know, when I was 16, 18, 20, uh, it's just so powerful, the lessons and the learning, instead of trying to figure it out when you're, you know, out of the house, and then you get out of college, and then you're trying to figure out how the world works, business wise, and tax wise, and (sighs) asset wise. So yeah, bringing them in early, it's like you're laying down those neural pathways (laughs) at, at a good time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And give them credit for being able to understand that and um, learn that at a younger age and not wait till they're in business for themselves and kind of struggling, in, yeah, yeah. struggling and have to learn it then. So it just becomes, like you said, a neuropathway that they can strengthen. Yeah. Love it. Which was the biggest thing you've learned from wor- working with Mark's firm? Oh, I, say beast. I mean, the first thing that comes up, I think there's probably going to be two, but the first thing that comes up is, Getting everything laid out visually has been huge. I refer to our whole entity structure, the trifecta, all the time when I'm just hired a new accountant, new CPA. Uh, and so my bookkeeper, our bookkeeper, and uh, our CPA, I could just say, here's the way we've designed our whole entity structure, and here's how it all works with one single document and a PDF that I can just forward over to them. So it, it helps them, but it also helps us look at that together and be like, where do we want to do on either side here? You know, it's like for the business income over here, do we form a new entity or on the other side of um, real estate holdings, do we form a new uh, entity for this property or do we put this property into another an entity that we've already formed? You know, there's all different you know levels of doing that, but it's been so helpful to just to be able to look at it visual, I'm very visual anyway. So, and numbers in my numbers in my brain don't work too well. I need a calculator, <laughs> but when I can look at something visually and look down at it and see that how everything ties together, I think is what I'm getting at, and how it all links together, and how how the money flows from entity to entity. That's been yeah. super helpful. Well, and I, we drink the same Kool Aid. I think, um, gosh, it was uh, three four days ago on the weekend. Patty said, "Can we sit down?" For- can we look over the trifecta and the books and oh, right there because we need, we were trying, we're starting to prep for tax returns too. Yeah. And uh, so we're like, okay, wh- who, what returns, a, who's doing what? And, you know, and so it just, it just, it helps. Love it. Really cool. Oh, it's so good to see you guys here. And um, you know, I didn't even think about it at our last couples retreat. We had Mark come up and kind of teach the trifecta and help couples have a clearer vision for their future. But I didn't know at the time that Patty was a, a relationship coach. So next, next time we want you to speak on that. Oh, yeah. Relationships and life yeah. coaching and everything. And I mean, Patty, you know, that both of us are certified coaches. You know, we went through yeah. that, you know, 26 years ago now. Yeah. Uh, Amazing. And I still mm-hmm. coach a few clients just, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, just, I've looked up to you guys. Lives. Yeah. And I've looked up to you guys for so many years. So it was such a treat to be able to be there with you and see the magic that is between you guys and your family and, your businesses and and your followers and so thank you yeah thank you so thank much you. we'll have to schedule the the next um, couples retreat and do it again I love that. <laughs> so maybe maybe somewhere exotic yeah <laughs> yeah oh, thank you so much for all you do and for our listeners if you want to find out how to get in touch with kkos we have a link on our website under resources oh yeah yeah you, you just, just go into real wealth to, to join real wealth if you're not a member which you probably are but you can join for free membership has always been free and then that gives you access to our membership portal that has access to all of our property teams where you can find investment properties and but more importantly you can find groups like mark and kkos and and how to move forward that way yeah, oh. and who knows? Maybe you'll find your spouse too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no. there you go. I know. Who knows? <laughs> but it's awesome. Patty's coaching so many people in our program, and um, so we'll make sure anybody that you're going to start. She's linked to a lot of that stuff too, because it's just hard being in. Uh, you got it. You every brain on brain. Mm-hmm. Everybody needs brain on brain. And, yeah, uh, absolutely. So uh, it's so cool. You guys are wonderful. Thanks for your having us and Thank you your so example. Much. 
Oh, so glad you could be here to share your wisdom. Thanks. Thanks. See ya. Bye-bye. And thank you for joining us here on The Real Well Show. You can go to realwellshow.com. Uh, like Rich said, to find out more, you can uh, book an appointment with one of our investment counselors. They all have invested heavily in the markets that we promote and with the teams that we refer our members to. So again, you can check that out at realwellshow.com. The views and opinions expressed in this podcast are provided for informational purposes only and should not be construed as an offer to buy or sell any securities or to make or consider any investment or course of action. For more information, go to realwealthshow.com.